what are the reasons to do overtone singing? Is it important to know why? Thanks for your answer. <laughs> um, for me, it was not important because I was simply fascinated. So I went on with singing. Uh, I started as a classical baritone. Then I decided to do something to earn money and I studied chemistry and physics. And then I worked uh, for 10 years as a physical chemist. But uh, in between, I found these overtones. And they really blew me away in those times. It, it was in um, 1983 when I first heard that uh, you can use them music musically. I knew about the, the theory and then I was hooked into overtones. So I'd never ask the question, what can I use them for? I, I just sang overtones and I felt differently. It's like, I don't know. I never hook drugs, but I imagine it's something like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and a passion and addiction. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's fascinating. I mean, obviously you're using Voce Vista, right? And we're seeing the, the harmonics mm -hmm. and where the overtones come in. Um, it seems like a logical conclusion that the for different styles and the sounds of singing you want to create that having having certain frequencies amplified and or active can really make a difference in the sound. Have you, what are your thoughts on that? Yes, sure. Uh, um, I would share the software again because I built in some tools or I, I show you where they came from. And if nobody else noticed, Wolfgang and I did not plan to both wear yellow today. We just put on our yellow shirts. <laughs> um, I like to make uh, diagrams like all um, scientists do. <laughs> and it's not easy to understand here now on the first shot. But um, this kind of diagram is built into the software. It shows where um, the resonances for the vowels come together with the overtones of the voice. So, and, and this is what I'm going to show you, uh, where you, your voice has the possibility to resonate. And this is something that um, will change your um, idea of vowels completely. But I think this will be um, part of uh, what we do on uh, January uh, 23rd, I think. But uh, I will show you what, what I mean. Let me open a new window and open the, the vowel chart. Can everybody see the vowel chart or I can make it a little bit smaller? Maybe. Yeah, we can, we can see it. It's, it's small, but it's, it's readable. No problem. So this is the field of resonances and you, you see the resonance is moving here in the vowel triangle and you uh, simultaneously uh, you see the resonances here moving on the pitches. And if you add a voice, you have overtones that can resonate. But if you put your resonance between two overtones, there is no sound energy activating this resonance. So if you know about overtones and if you know how to control resonances, you can easily uh, put your res resonance exactly onto an overtone. And this is the most effective, uh, effective way of singing. And uh, um, Bodo put this um, chart I showed you earlier into, where is it? Here, no, the wrong one, into this chart. So you see all the overtones, how they um, are uh, spread over the, over the vowels. And if you don't know that, for example, this or this vowel is, is not very good for singing, 
might be um, you, you might tend to to pronounce a word be only because it's written in this way but it doesn't sound well and as a teacher uh, you hear uh. You hear vowels in, in this way, usually because um, intuitively most um, singers find these places, these resonance places. But if you are not on the right place, and I found this in a, in a lecture I followed online by a famous baritone, he taught something to a female, boy, uh, a female singer and he wanted her to change the vowel and she was singing uh, something like um, Es lächelt, es lächelt der See, a, a German text from a composition from uh, Franz Liszt, der Fischer, Fischerknabe, and he, he was singing this in a baritone voice. Es le, 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 le. But this sound is not possible to sing in a female voice because there are no overtones on this sound. It's something. It, it was um, the beginnings on G sharp, I think. One moment. So it's about G sharp, and then um, the baritone would pronounce the word here, and the soprano has to uh, pronounce it here. And if uh, um, a male teacher doesn't know about this then he might give the wrong idea of the sound. So if I go to G sharp in a baritone, I have this sound. But if I go an octave higher, it's not, um, the soprano cannot sing this because it's in between overtones. She has no resonance here. It's not stabilizing the voice. So she has to open the mouth a little bit more and then uh, go a little bit forward with her pharynx tongue and in resonance. And you have resonance and the, the voice is stabilized then. Things like this are um, possible if you know how to control resonances and if you hear the overtones. That's super fascinating. Um, just just for some clarity, this is is this a, a software plugin that this is a software that you developed with a colleague that that you add to Voce Vista? Is that correct? Um, no, it's the other way around. The other way around. Yes, yeah, so we developed a software called Overtone Analyzer, and mm -hmm. this has all these tools. And then um, a few years ago, uh, we met. Don Miller. Don Miller had um, developed uh, another software called Voce Vista. And when he saw our software, he, he asked, uh, wouldn't it be possible to put my ideas of Voce Vista into your software? Because it looks um, so fascinating. And so Bodo uh, combined both softwares. And then um, in order to appreciate his uh, great work, He's one of the pioneers to introduce um, software into operatic singing. Um, uh, it was then renamed from Overton Analyzer to Voce Vista. And to make a separation from Voce Vista, uh, it, it's now called Voce Vista Video, which is uh, a little bit a look into the future because uh, Bodo will add um, a video into the software as well. Amazing. So that, that's, an, that's an amazing. I don't think there are a lot of people that actually know that. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to be get clear on, on that together with you.